Hello, my name is Rob Ogden. I'm Director of Conservation and uh, one of my many jobs is to be in charge of the Wild Genes Lab here at the zoo. The Wild Genes Lab is a conservation genetics lab and what we do with conservation genetics is provide DNA data, DNA analysis, to support conservation projects um, both in the zoo um, and also outside of the zoo. Hi, my name is Helen Sen and I'm a research scientist at RZSS. So there's a number of reasons why we might want to um, examine an animal's DNA to aid with conservation. Um, we might want to uh, try and understand what species it is, just from a, a simple sample of, of faeces or poo that we found in the wild. Maybe it's been found in the desert or in the forest and we want to know whether there's an endangered species there and whether it belongs to it. We might also want to understand what the components of some traditional medicine are, has, it, has tiger bone been used in this medicine um, and we can use DNA to try and understand what, the, what species is inside that. Um, and then there's other slightly more complicated questions like looking at um, different populations of animals in the wild and understanding whether they belong to the same species, whether we need to conserve them as part of the same unit. Or maybe we're doing a reintroduction, taking uh, endangered animals that are extinct in the wild and putting them back into the wild. So we've worked on a reintroduction of desert antelope like this um, and you want to try and understand what combination of animals is best to put back in and you do some genetic analysis to understand how those animals are related to each other and what, what the best group of animals to put back into the wild is. One of the things we hope to do in future at the Wild Genes Lab is start to use some new technologies. So for example, the techniques that allow us to sequence the human genome can now be applied to wildlife species. One example of this kind of work is the research that we're doing with pygmy hippopotamus. We've got pygmy hippos here at Edinburgh Zoo um, and we've got a population throughout Europe but we're also concerned about their conservation status in West Africa where the natural populations still survive and we've been using these next generation sequencing techniques to identify diversity within pygmy hippopotamus that will help us both manage and conserve the captive populations, but also understand how many uh, pygmy hippos we've got in different national parks in West Africa and understand connectivity between those populations so that we can plan conservation management in the field. So how do we fund the genetics lab? Well, all of our staff are paid for by the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland, which in turn receives its money from people like you coming to Edinburgh Zoo. So if you keep coming, we can keep doing the stuff that we do to help conservation of species. If you want to help more, you can find more details at the website at the bottom of this page.